Nancy. Thanks for meeting with me to discuss how to clean an external pacemaker. Sure, Christy, happy to help. We'll review the recommended method to clean and disinfect, but before we get started, I'll show you some methods that are not recommended. And these are also listed in the manual. You can find information on cleaning the device in this tip card. Great, so none of the automated machine washers can be used? Correct, you don't want to use ethylene oxide, gamma radiation, or steam sterilization in an autoclave because it can damage the device. Okay, so what should I do to clean the device? Medtronic recommends you use only 70% isopropyl alcohol. Really? Not another cleaner? That's right. Using other cleaners and disinfectants may cause damage to the temporary pacemaker plastic, circuitry, or metal components. It's important to disassemble the device when cleaning it, and I'll just talk you through the steps. Okay, great. So first, you want to remove the clear plastic cover. Okay, the clear plastic cover. I see that snaps off easily. Next, you want to remove the smaller plastic cover that's over the rapid atrial pacing controls. Great, so now that we have the covers off, we can clean the surface with an alcohol wipe. So we clean the surface just like this? Yep, correct. So be sure to get the surfaces of the plastic covers as well. Okay. Should I also remove the knobs? Nope, the knobs are not removable. If the device gets contaminated or fluid under the knobs into the battery compartment or the cable ports, it'll need to be returned to Medtronic for cleaning. Okay, so now let's talk about disinfecting the device. Again, you'll only need the alcohol. Just alcohol again, no other cleaning agents. Correct. However, this device needs 15 minutes of wet exposure of the 70% isopropyl alcohol for disinfection. And I'll show you the steps. All you need for equipment is some alcohol wipes, a sealed container, even a sealed bag like this will work. Okay, great. Yeah, it's an easy process. So after cleaning the device, wrap it and the plastic covers in the alcohol wipes. Next, you wanna place the wrapped items in the bag and then you can seal it. Now let's set a timer for 15 minutes. Okay, now that our 15 minutes has elapsed, you can remove them from the bag. They'll need to air dry for five minutes or until they're dry. Now that the device has been cleaned and disinfected, you can go ahead and reassemble it. Okay, first I'll put on the cover for the rapid atrial pacing. Then next I'll put on the device plastic cover. And now you've cleaned and disinfected a temporary external pacemaker. That was much easier than I thought. It's not a difficult process. However, if the device ever gets too dirty or contaminated to clean with this process, it should be returned to Medtronic for cleaning. As we discussed earlier, if there's fluid or contamination under the knobs, in the battery compartment or on the cable port, it'll need to be returned for cleaning. Okay, that's good to know that there may be times that I'll need to return the device for cleaning. And there is more information in the technical manual. Thanks, this has been a really helpful session. Good.